How to befriend a crow. Part one: Find a crow pair. In this mini series, I want to show you how to make friends with a wild crow. Some of you have already seen my video "How to make friends with a crow in four steps." In this series, I will try to go a little more into detail. It is a very touching experience to gain the trust of a wild animal. Many of us have this dream. For me, it is about reconnecting with the wild side of ourselves, with our own freedom. It is a connection beyond language on a level of communication that we all intuitively understand, whether we are aware of it or not. The basic requirement for any kind of connection with a wild animal is of course the animal itself. To connect with any wild animal, you first need some basic knowledge about the animal. Where do animals of this species live? Are they diurnal or nocturnal? What sounds do they make? What kind of resting places do they prefer? Do they live with us all year round? What do they eat? Or are they migratory animals? There are several species of crows. For example, carrion crow, hooded crow, rook crow, American crow, to name just a few of the most common species. Crows are also often confused with ravens or magpies. Even though these are also corvids, they are different species. With the crows, we know that they are cultural followers. They live everywhere where people live. Crows are easy to find. They are diurnal, quite large and have a loud voice. <coughs> Young crows form large groups that we can often find in parks, for example. They can travel great distances until they find a suitable life partner and their own territory. Adult pairs occupy small breeding territories in residential areas and forest edges. They are sight faithful and remain throughout the year. Even when crows gather in huge groups in the evening from fall to early spring to find common roosting sites, these pairs usually return to their territories during the day. So it is very likely that crows are already your neighbors. Be alert when you leave the house. Keep your eyes and ears open. Pay attention to your surroundings. Can you hear or see crows in your neighborhood? If you notice a large group of crows, you can try to get in contact with them. However, it is much easier if it is a resident pair of crows with a fixed territory. Because then you can be sure that you will always interact with the same birds and you can slowly get to know each other. It is not advisable to attract a larger group of crows to your garden or residential area with food. This would upset the biological balance. Also, your neighbors would certainly not be pleased with a large, noisy group of crows in the immediate neighborhood either. But if you support only one pair of crows in your neighborhood, this is perfectly fine and it will not upset the natural balance. With an attentive perception of your surroundings, you will additionally connect more deeply with your place of residence and also certainly make one or the other previously unseen discovery. In step 2 of this series, we will talk about how and what to feed a crow.